Hello, it's me Soa and today we're going to do, yeah, it's not Morty's Mind Blowers, but it's inspired by it's Zoa's Mind Blowers. The amount of times that my mind has been blown, and it will include this, it's inspired by Rick and Morty's, Morty's Mind Blowers, of course. Interdimensional cables, just a quantum computer that connects via what of timelines to get the channel. Rick's portal is frozen Mountain Dew. He opened the Ouija board whilst it was frozen, defrosted it, put it into a gun with a crystal as the focusing lens to get the oscillating electrical current with making a sun disk to clip the portal to go through physically. So there's your first mind blower. And now go into portals more. So there's your first mind blower, how Rick made his portals, his wormholes. And I'll explain that properly, but first. Now the, the second mind blower. This is what well, I've learned to be the Star of Heaven. You've got to see my previous videos to get why it's called the Star of Heaven. But this... You can see it looks like a skull. There's an eye there, an eye there, which I've inserted myself because there were blank spaces and it looked like a skull anyway. But there's a lot of stuff being added to it after, and I coloured it in and stuff like that. For example, if you look here, uh, yep, I'm going to highlight this. This is, if you look at that, dot, that dot, that dot, that dot, and that dot. I get the phone lined up. There we go, a camera. One, Two, three, four, five, and now look up the Pleiades star cluster right now on the internet. Right, if you've got that Pleiades star cluster up, and then look at them. One, two, three, four, five. Yes, that's a Pleiades star cluster. This is actually an, a meteorite, and it has a fossil in it. It has a fossil right here. See my previous videos to get the next bit. It's that's the sun, that's the moon, that's the earth. So sun, moon, earth, Mars, Jupiter, International Space Station. It's a it's a diagram of moon, if you would, just like the Pleiades star cluster. But that fossil, if this is a meteorite which has come from outer space, which somehow is, seems to be in the shape of a skull as well, somehow. That's got to be an alien fossil. It's got to be the fossil of an alien. So there's another mind blower. And now another mind blower is because that's an alien fossil. That means God. God. Yes. The guy from the Bible. Ahura Master. Jehovah. Allah. There's a couple of names. Kronos. The Greek Titan of time. Yep. Anubis. And... Because there's another mind blower attached with Anubis, but I'll go over that in a bit. The mind blower right now is this proves God's real. Because God, as you know in the book of Genesis, he, yes, there's another mind blower attached to this now. He pressed the button, right, to fuse Hermos, our living universe, everything in the other sentient, it's her part of Hermos's body. Think of ourselves as the bacteria or viruses within her body making her work the way she does. Mini mind blower. Major mind blower. Because of that, God done a trinary fusion against a neutrino. Now, a neutrino is a sub-subatomic particle that repels everything that tries to touch it. He fused a living person with two other like elements against neutrino which 
somehow resulted in them being repelled for it, but fusing it at the same time into the Big Bang. And he said, let there be light, just because he sounded cool. He thought it sounded cool. Her most, the universe is above God, but God is the one who governs the universe. He is the tall alien grey, because he created Earth. He is not from the planet Earth, so therefore, he's an alien. Mind blower. That's the major one. Yep. And now for another major one. I did not know a neutrino had an explosive reaction. Yeah, I just thought it simply repelled the element and then it fused and then he, like her, her most blew herself up into the universe. Then God like pressed the button to do so. But it was my friend Jade Darkness Night on YouTube. I learned so much from her. Who told me that it's the neutrino itself that caused the explosive reaction, hence the Big Bang. Mind blower. And then this ties back into Rick and Morty because it was Jade who introduced me to this. And there's a lot of neutrino bombs in it. Mind blower. Now for another mind blower. If you look up the Atlantean, yes, Atlantis, Atlantean alphabet on the internet right now, and look for the letter I. Got to make sure I've got this lined up correctly on, yeah, yep, uh, yep. There we go. That little emblem there on the nose of this skull, meteorite, is an Atlantean letter I. Shows how it's tied to Atlantis. What's even more profound is, if you're familiar with Plato, he has two texts called Timaeus and Critias, which is the history of Atlantis, and it tells you where it is, off the streets of Gibraltar, the Greek gateway, and it ties in, and it's another mind blower. Because you've got Timaeus and Critias, the two texts, but there's a little thing called Yu-Gi-Oh! It's a trading card game. It's an anime as well, a bit like Pokemon Dragon Ball. It's popular as in One Piece. Speaking of which, that could be the One Piece, because this is the Laugh Tale. Think of the island Raftal, in its actual name, Laugh Tale. Think how funny all these mind blowers are, and it's really that simple. It's a Laugh Tale. But back to Yu-Gi-Oh! You've got three legendary dragons in what's called the Arakarkos series, the Saga arc, and it involves, basically, Atlantis. But there's three legendary dragons and main protagonists get called Tobias and Critias. You've got the Eye Tobias and the Thang of Critias. There's one more, because they're missing, they're like Plato's text, but there is one more. And that is, that's a claw, the claw of Hermos. Hermos here, this book, and that is a new business thing, by the way, which, tying in with Egypt and a few mythologies, see my previous video to see where I show you rest is, with physical evidence that that has unusual qualities, Tying them with ancient Egypt, you can see they had alien help. They are clouds, also spaceships above the pyramid. Oh yeah, that's a portal leading to the back end of the Sphinx there, to the Hall of Records. And the Sphinx here faces west. If you're familiar with Yu-Gi-Oh, that is a new piece of Sphinx, but and your Sphinx. There's a mind blower there that wants all the clues fit into place. There's a lot of homework to be done, yeah, for you guys. Watching my previous videos to get, like, better evidence about this. We thought, we all phones had died. This is new ones, I don't have all their pictures anymore. Where I can readily show you play these verses, the Star of Heaven, because that's why I still look up. I've had to do my homework as well. Now for another mind block, we're now going to talk about the time-space continuum. A lot of people know it as... 
where you have near death experiences, it's a place where you go when you sleep every night, that's where your dreams take place, and the little place within the time space continuum called the dream space. And you've also got heaven in there, hell is in there, limbo is in there, snake away from Dragon Ball Z, that's limbo, that is Zabalba, the underworld from the Mayan mythology, and yes, I'll show you Mayan mythology stuff also, it's coming up, and also, it's, um, so I said the underworld, yep, the underworld, Zabalba, limbo, it's purgatory, you have to go for a snake way, like in the Mayan mythology, you have to make it from one end to the other, find various forms along, along the way, like the so-called villain Dragon Ball Z, this princess snake stuff, no, in Goku, Fallen into hell. All part of his trials. To make it to King Kai. Hades. At the end. Where you get the training and then resurrect. As it is in the Mayan and also Egyptian mythologies. So there's another mind blower. Just regarding that. But this all goes to explain the time space continuum. Because that's where that takes place. Because your spirit leaves your body. Oh yeah. It's a mind blow to explain my transition from male to female as well, but that's upcoming later. But, yeah, your spirit leaves your body. Your thoughts take place there. Right now, think about an asteroid. There you go. That is someone in a time-space continuum shape-shifting your thoughts so you can picture it. Okay, and now for what the time-space continuum looks like. If you see my previous videos... Or if you watch Family Guy, Road to the Multiverse, that blank white space where Brian and Stewie are physically as well, where they think they're outside of a multiverse, not the inside of it, and just then you become a Higgs boson, because it's in Yu-Gi-Oh as well. That blank white space there, space-time continuum, time splitters. Well, that's a wormhole, a portal, just not made out of Mountain Dew. It's a... But the blank white space is the light. Because if you look at this Mayan sun disk here, that's the light, the golden white colour. That's a wormhole yet again. It's a sun disk hole. But you also need a moon disk, which is a Ouija board. But I'll blow your mind about that in a bit. First, the time-space continuum itself. In Star Trek, they call it subspace. In Star Wars, they call it hyperspace. Yep, there's all sorts of games for it. The fourth dimension, the spiritual dimension, the spirit dimension, hence a reach board. Lots of different games. The void where demons reside is also in there. Right, but about a space time continuum, because I've, you've seen this before in my previous video, because this is the mind flow I set before, I'm going to show you this again. Here you go. We've got. Before the time space continuum, I never actually showed this. It's paranormal caught on camera, and someone gets a like a portal in the sky showing the time space continuum of Jesus in it. If, here it is. And I'll get another Yu Gi Oh card for this. This is someone's life footage, you see. Think of a dimensional fissure. It's another word for it. Dimensional fissure is another name for wormhole or portal. Think about the Book of Revelations. That's Jesus, by the way, right there, walking across that portal. That's a wormhole. That's a portal. That's one of them. Yep, that's a wormhole. That's a time-space continuum that I was on about. The blank white space. Yeah. Sense of serenity because of time-space continuum. And it, that in particular is heaven. That goes to God's throne. That's Jesus showing himself now. Give everyone physical evidence to see. So that people know for a fact he's come back to Armageddon. Because if we read the book of Revelations, when we talk about Armageddon, it says the sky will open up, will tear apart. Like it has there. As you see, that's Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Physically, yes, he was resurrected physically, there he is, walking in a time-space continuum. And that's a wormhole, that is a portal to the fourth dimension. Rick made them out of Mountain Dew, but God doesn't have to, he can just do it like that. But he's still got eclipsed the sun disk and the moon disk. And now, yep, 
for the solar eclipse theory and wormholes themselves and how to make them. Well first, everyone's heard of these things, Ouija boards. And people know how dangerous they are. Because when you use one of them, you see, you bend in, you bend in tight space itself when you're using the planche, it may open it up, like I showed you when I opened the Atlantis Ouija board. All you're doing is creating a wormhole, but it automatically goes to a time space continuum, you see. And if you're creating a satanic ritual, it goes to hell. But Satan's not the bad guy, it's not smart, yes. Satan does a wormhole version and sends the exit mode to the void where demons get through. That's why they're so dangerous. Another reason is they can just pop up in the sky like Jesus did there. But what if he fell out? <laughs> yeah, there you go. Think of Goku when he gets booted off. Like the look of... Because he says, that's what makes a hypersonic go on. Because it's hyperspace. Yep. But also... Yeah, um, you fall out of the sky, that's a dangerous spot. you got to do it properly. That's why... God disagrees with trying to contact the dead. Because that is there to create a wormhole, not to contact the dead. You use that, you've got to do it like you're doing Harry Potter and specify where you want the exit mode to go. Like if you play Halo or any other game where you have one end of a portal and someone has to decide where the other end goes, don't you? It's like that. And it's the same deal here in real life. This, and this actually ties in with the Da Vinci Code. See my previous videos to see the Black Sun, which is a sun disc I had, which my good friend Jade has now got. It was a black disc on here, on top of this Ouija board. And the shape of it, the design of it, looks like the map of Flat Earth and the world government, well, the UN League. UN logo. There we go. Right, now we're going to the Mayan mythology. That's that's the Mayan goddess of death, Santa Maria. In that in the day of the live the day of the dead, sorry, from the Mexican mythologies, the Mayan mythologies comes into play at Armageddon. Anubis's army from Egypt will be resurrected, the day of the dead from the Mayan mythology. And the dead in Christ will rise at arm again. Mind blower. And you now know that God's real. You've seen the evidence. That is a Mayan sun disk. That is just a collection of solar energy like a solar panel. We well, have to do that. Like my Atlantis sun, my Atlantis Portland, yeah. And the reach board there. From the summer star solstice to the winter solstice. It's Gavin Solar Energy burning into a sun disk. What will happen there? It's got solar energy all in one place. You need a focusing lens, as Da Vinci like, said it. But that comes, as you've seen in all my previous videos, and I've highlighted this before I was even talked about this part of the Da Vinci Code, that that piece of hematite is a focusing crystal to catch the electromagnetic energy. Which in actually astro project, hence why ghost can EMP stuff. But also electromagnetic energy leering. Instead of having a big electro uh, a big electricity generator attached to the portal, this is the easier way to do it. So there you go, that explains wormholes. And you've seen a physical example for what it's going to look like at Armageddon. There you go. So, that's all the mind blowers I have for you right now. Let's just see when I've learned all this, let's just say my mind was blown just as much. To see all the other physical evidence to tie it all in, trust me, your mind's blown out, it'll be blown more after this. Check out my other videos. And if you want anything that I might need to go, which my further blow my mind like my other like my friend Jade has or whatnot. Feel free to uh, drop the comment. Thanks for watching.